COVID cases are on the rise across the nation and in our area, which means something many of us thought we'd seen the last of is back. Businesses, hospitals, even colleges, including one in our area, reinstating mask mandates. So will there be more to come as we head into the fall? And are people ready to be forced to mask up again? Kendall Green joins us live in the studio. And Kendall, what do health experts have to say about it? Hey, good evening, Steve. They're saying if you don't have them already, it may be a good idea to stock up. And if you do, keep them handy. With the current COVID trend, we're seeing more mask mandates could be in false forecasts among companies and colleges. New data shows we're not out of the woods just yet with COVID-19. In fact, the numbers show the last few weeks it sent more Americans to the hospital, with an increase of more than 20% from last week in deaths and hospitalizations nationwide. We know that there is a lot of circulating COVID right now. Dr. Stephanie Silvera, an epidemiologist and professor of public health at Montclair State University, urges caution of the new threat on the horizon. Though the number of cases of variant BA.2.86 are sparse in the U.S., the newest strain is predicted to be the most infectious yet while it's on the rise in Europe. There's a growing concern that our current vaccines are not going to be as effective as they have been in terms of reducing both spread and severity of the illness. Combined with that and rising case counts, companies like California-based Kaiser Permanente mandated its staff wear masks on certain floors of their facility. Closer to home, Upstate Medical University in New York and Rutgers University took similar steps. The epidemiologists in favor of calls for caution considering the newest variants impact overseas, though fewer cases have been reported in the United States. In thinking about what is the next step in terms of public health and how to prevent further spread, unfortunately, masking is something that we need to consider, even though most people don't want to. Some New Yorkers telling Fox 5 they're willing to comply with potential mandates. I don't want to get sick. I, I like being alive. I think that it would be super helpful if it's spreading again to stop the spread. The mask can even be healthy, so for people who are sick, you know, it can help them. But other people, if they, I feel like it's half. Dr. Silvera making a bold prediction heading into fall. I think we may hit a tipping point this fall, especially as students come back to campus, where that masking might be required. And I think those, the number of college campuses requiring it are likely to increase. Now, with testing down in the United States by 90%, it makes surveillance among health officials harder, complicating the process of tracking those newly developing strands. Now, the numbers are the guys going forward, Steve. All right, thanks, Kendall.